What's up everybody? Welcome back to what is another YouTube video on the Marine Life channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing uh, in good update. Uh, I haven't done an update on this tank in a minute and today we're going to be doing an update on it. And everything that's happened, new additions, uh, pumps, maybe some new corals, you never know. Everything that's been going on with it, how the tank's doing, and uh, yeah. So let's start with the coral, the uh, one that's looking really good right now. We got the trachophilia right here. The brain coral, uh, okay, wait, that was terrible. I'll get, I'll get an up tank view at the end of the video when I turn all the pumps off. So we got the trachophilia. Here are brain coral, which is doing really good. We've got the GSP, looking good. We have our little conch. He's just straight chilling, vibing. He keeps the sand nice and clean, as you can see. Sand is looking good. And you can see the tank looks really blue right now, well, but in real life it's not blue, just so y'all know. We've got the zoanthid garden. I uh, just bushed them off to get some algae and detritus out of them. So they're a little closed up. This one's slowly coming back up, but these are taking a little bit longer. We've got the euphilia or the torch, which is looking good. He's got a nice sway. Uh, and then we'll up here, we have the Kenya tree, which has grown a whole lot since I got him. We've got the two clownfish, one right here and one over there. We've got a snail right here. We've also got a firefish under here. Uh, I can barely see him. I can just see his tail, kind of. Maybe he'll come out. I'll put some pellets in the tank. We also have the fire shrimp. We'll get a better view of him from over here. Oh, we also have a tuxedo urchin. He does a good job of keeping the algae at bay. We have a rock flower anemone, which looks really good. And this hammer coral has been expelling zosanthelae. And kind of getting, it's kind of shrinking. So I'm get, I ordered an iodine dip to dip him in, uh, which is coming to Wednesday, which should help him out. We also have a Bengai cardinal, which I'll show you guys over here. We have the Bengai cardinal and the fire shrimp. Oops, fire shrimp right there. Uh, flame scallop, and in my opinion, the greatest algae scraper that you can ever buy. Uh, this was about thirty dollars. It's the Flipper Nano, and Let's say you want to flip to the other side of the glass, but as original, you'd have to take it out of the water, flip it around. You can just get it, do this, flips it around. Or let's say you want to go to the razor blade side because this tough algae just won't come off. Do this. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad representation. Then you're on the razor blade side, which scrapes off algae really effectively. So we can just put it back down there where it always is. Keep it always in the tank. And, uh, yeah, we also added... A little marine life just bowerhead really cheapo until i get the re red sea reef wave which is what i actually want to put on this tank and then i also have a surface skimmer as you can see this keeps the top of the tank crystal clear and completely keeps all of the surface skim the skim it on the top of the tank all off seeing good rippling keep the tank looking good um i do want to show you guys the hermit crabs uh, they don't really come out anymore, which is kind of sad. They all huddle up. They can see their shells. Probably have to get in there and move them out of that little area pretty soon. We also have two in here, as you can see. Two of them are in there. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably feed them to make sure that they... Oh, there's a good picture of one right there. He's looking good. Oh, that was actually a terrible view. But there's a Scarlet Red Armageddon. We also have, so we'll talk about the filtration. We have the Apex probes, the salinity, ORP, pH, and temperature probes. This has been, this is sitting in the water because I'm going to recalibrate my uh, ice cap salinity checker. We have the filter floss. I did take the refugium out because while I'm dosing Vibrant, it was actually killing it. So I'll have to replace it when I'm done with the Vibrant dosing. So we also have a heater right here. Protein skimmer is off for this video. I also cleaned it out so there's no micro bubbles in the tank. We have right here, we've started using poly filter, which is doing amazing. It's keeping my water so clean, so clear. And I'll tell you guys more about that in a minute. And then in this chamber, we have absolutely nothing. This chamber, we have Kimmy Bear Blue. We have the uh, ceramic spheres and then the outtake. And then a newest addition or lighting system is the AI Prime Hydra 32 HD. This light is amazing. It literally is only at 40% and the lighting is so good. Uh, I got it so that I can start getting SPS like Acropora, Montes, some bird's nest, 
all those sorts of SPS corals for this tank and deck it out with some SPS and the L so the LPS will get more coloring, you know? And I also wanted to get some A-cans and just a lot of stuff for this tank. It's just with this whole COVID, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's the firefish. If we can be quiet, we'll be able to kind of go over there and get a good look at him because he's such a baby. He's always hiding. It's really irritating. So I'm being as still as possible. So we can get over there and get a good look at him. Don't go away, firefish. Stay where you are. I just want to get a good... See? So now he's gone. So that was pretty much useless. So that's the tank. Now we're going to go down to what's below the stand. We have the Neptune Apex system, which is doing awesome. We have, so I had a really bad cyano outbreak. The sand was completely covered. The rocks were covered. The corals were covered in cyano. It was terrible. So I was forced to buy this stuff called ChemiClean by Boyd Emer Enterprises. Uh, this is probably, I didn't think this would work, but this worked beautifully. It's reef safe. Now, the only thing with it is you want to make sure your tank is really oxygenated. Oh, my God. I know that sounds like a fart, but it's my knee. Listen. So, y'all aren't going like, oh, Marine Life ripped, ripped, ripped the ass while in the middle of a video, you know? So, just my knee, just so y'all know. Uh, right here, mar uh, Marine Buffer. This sucks. Get rid of this if you have it. I haven't got rid of it. Never use a buffer that claims to raise pH. It sucks. Get rid of it. I'm sorry if you're using it. You're just screwing yourself because this is just an alkalinity in salt form. It's terrible. It raises your alk, and see my knee, it's, it's starting to make me mad, but here we have glass cleaner, we've got Hydroplex, which is doing a good job of keeping the tank, well, okay, I'm an idiot, I'm, my, my brain has just gone off, so what this does is if you have a new fish arrival, you dip it in here, and it gets rid of parasites and any kind of active bacteria, anything, it's really good to dip your new arrivals in. Uh, we've got veggie browns for like the uh, snails and stuff. They run out of algae. We've got this is Polyp Labs Polyp Booster. So what this does is before you feed your corals or fish, you put one mil of this per I think it's twenty gallons. Let's see directions. One mil per sixty gallons. Oh my god. Okay, so for my tank, I do a third of a mil of this stuff, which is pretty much just like that much. So that gets all of the feeder tentacles on the corals out and gets all the fish nice and active for feeding. Oh, uh, we got a good look at the Bengai Cardinal right here. He's looking good, okay? And then this, after you, whenever you put that in for 15 minutes, uh, you can target feed Reefroids. I target feed, uh, my corals seem to really like it. We also have Fritz RPM Elements. We got the calcium alkalinity and magnesium line. We have the marine pellets. We have Vibrant. This stuff is what's keeping my algae and my tank pretty much out. I still do have some here and there, and I do have to clean the rocks off about every water change. Um, so, yeah. And I also feed, I feed Rod's food. I feed, I feed Marine Cuisine, Coral Cuisine, uh, Reef Nutrition's Mice's Feast, Feast Reef Nutrition's uh, ROE, and Reef Nutrition's Phytoplankton, and these pellets as well. As And I, give, I put uh, Boy Enterprise's Vitachem, in it, vitamins, Vitachem supplement, which is a vitamin, which is like amino acids and stuff for the uh, for the fish, and that's pretty much feeding. So if we come down here, we have a big mess. We have a rock, scissors. Those are for trimming my planted tank, but I have them down here. We have cups for putting food in. This is the poly filter that I had just added. So as you can see, it removes toxic ammonia. What it means by that is if you have excess ammonia in your tank that your biological filtration isn't taken care of. This stuff will remove that excess, but keep enough for your biological to stay alive until it adjusts to the amount of ammonia that's in your tank by slowly adding ammonia that your bacteria will uh, eat up. So this stuff pretty much saves you if you're establishing a tank or you have too much ammonia, this will save your ass, okay? It also removes all forms of phosphates, medication after treatment, heavy harmful organics, and it will not soften water or remove trace uh, minerals. Now, if you're adding a, a supplement right on top of this, it will probably take it out. So what I do is before I dose Sea Kim Fuel, I will take out the poly filter, and it says to leave it out for 12 hours. So at night, I dose the Sea Kim Fuel, and then I'll add it back uh, the next day. 
we also have the ATI Essentials Pro 1 and 2. Uh, I haven't used these yet. I actually won them at a drawing at my local fish store, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have a handy dandy little toothbrush for cleaning algae off the rocks. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the stand. Uh, if we go to here, we have the Red Sea Test Kits. I'm about to test my water off this video. We have Marine Care Bolty Test Kit and the Foundations Pro. This one tests, tests ammonia and nitrate. Ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, and alkalinity. This one tests alkaline, cal calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. These are essential for running a reef tank. Oh, look, there's the Bengai Cardinal. Just straight chilling. He's looking good, too. And then uh, over here, this is this is not even part of this. This is for my planted tank. Uh, here's pellets. Omega-1 Marine Mini Pellets. This is the carbon I use, Kimmy Pure Blue. And then earlier in the video, you saw that I had the calibration solution. That's for my ice cap salinity checker. So if we go over to my computer right here, we have the... Uh, let's go to the beginning. We have the AI Prime. There is an app for it. Uh, super awesome. So if you wait for it to load, I'll show you guys my lighting schedule. So here it is right here. Here's all the modes. That is not right. Uh, it's actually at, so let's go to the midday. So at all, cool white 39, blue 80. Um, royal, royal blue at 79. Green at 5, UV at 120, Violet at 116, Dark Red at 5%, and Moonlight at 100% for at night whenever there's a moonlight. And then if we go up here, we can go to Acclimation Mode, which is what mine's currently on for the next 27 days. And the reason why is because when you get new corals or new light, you want to slowly acclimate the corals to that. And that's what I'm doing. We also have Lunar, which these are effects. There's some usually Weather but they remove that for a little while so here's lunar this is the moonlight so we'll just turn that off so that's pretty much that as you guys can see and then we have our apex down here which salt is a little high um that's not what i'm testing so my probe probably needs calibrated temperature 78.6 oops uh ph 7.76 but it kind of dips toward the night and orp 33 9. so yep that's that, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.